Hey y'all, here are OS Reviews. In this video, we're taking a quick look at the Pixel Cable Pro. This claims to be a smart USB Type-C charging cable that's also magnetic, so it can be more tightly coiled together when not in use, and has a small OLED screen that you can customize with fun animations, tell you the charging speed, just add a touch of customization. And actually, about two years ago, we checked out the first generation Pixel Cable. Compared to that, the Pro model now just adds two features. The first being that magnetic coil function, which was missing on the original it was just a regular rubber cable. And the second functionality is now faster charging support. This now gets up to 240 watts on compatible fast chargers that you're plugging it into compared to 100 watts on the original. It remains both a charging and data cable so you can transfer files from a phone over to a computer as well. And again, even other magnetic objects can attach onto it, use it as a pin holder, claims to be quite robust and sturdy. So it works with an optional companion app if you want to personalize with that OLED screen set including other logos and animations as you're charging. And now that even the iPhones are using standard Type-C, it's going to be really universal with any, I would say, modern smartphone here in 2024. Here's a quick demo of that app in action, both for iOS and Android. Even upload your own image, as well as using it as a scrolling bulletin board with your favorite text info, or more practically, showing the real-time power output when the charging is in action. Plus, it's a smart cable in the sense that when charging completes, it will turn off automatically to prevent any overheating with some alerts on the optional app. As for some rated specs, because of the faster wattage that it now supports, you can use it for laptops as well, including the MacBook Pro can charge over 50% in less than half an hour. And the cable here is 5 feet, coming in a few color variants including silver and black. File transfer here up to 480 megabits per second, so 1 gig files can be fully transferred in just around 20 seconds or so. Last but not least, just for a reference, this was their previous generation OG Pixel cable, so again, required your own cable ties if you wanted to more neatly attach it together since it wasn't magnetic back then. This will also be launching initially on Kickstarter before becoming available on their website, but they've been around for a number of years now. This is just the initial batch that will become available. So this is the silver version, and indeed the magnets are quite strong, so just a simple tug and it just instantly aligns as you can tell, making it easy to pop into a backpack without worrying about the cable tangling up. And then the heads here are pretty well crafted out of braided nylon in addition to some reinforced rubber. The actual end caps are crafted out of metal here, so it feels quite robust. And the other end, which is larger, includes the aforementioned monochrome black and white OLED screen. And the magnets here can also be tightened up, so if you want to make the coil to be kind of wound together tighter, it can still hold its place uh, into a shape that looks something like this, a little taller and more narrow if you want to use it for holding up some pens, for example, in the office. Plus, the cable can attach onto metal surfaces like refrigerator doors, for instance. So here's one quick example. Or you can attach some paper clips onto it as well on your desk. So you get the idea, it is going to be a little bit more versatile because of the magnetic design. So now moving into a quick demo, let's plug it into our phone to begin charging. And you can see that by default, it'll just state Pixel Cable Pro before then transitioning into if it's quick charging, the specific wattage that's being drawn. And we also have the optional app allowing to gauge the battery percentage. And then down below here, we can turn on and off certain alerts, including when the battery reaches 100%, it'll beep and vibrate once to alert us to maybe unplug it for optimal battery health. And so you get the idea. It acts as a programmable LED bulletin board, albeit a miniature one. From here, you can click on the left drawer for selecting the language that you want the characters to be displayed in, for example, Chinese, English, Spanish, Italian, so on and so forth. Plus, you can also change the startup animation. So again, by default, it's going to be scrolling just the Pixel Cable Pro, but instead, let's try a Halloween-themed one. Getting into the festive mood of October, we have those three little pumpkins shining. It is a pretty bright screen as well. Like other OLED panels, since no pixels are technically being emitted, aside from the ones that are on, on. Here's a few more examples which are currently static at the moment. Pretty quick to transfer over, I just add a click. You can also make it scrolling, moving towards the left as you can tell here, versus over to the right. As well as the speed of the scrolling animation can also be programmed if you want it to go faster, versus at a slower movement. So this is one where I think the car symbol is going to be quite fun. And after a couple of seconds, it will then switch over into the battery charging percentage remaining. So it will cycle through some of the status info. Now we can also jump into the middle tab here to find some more dynamic animations. For instance, this one here that is just going to be showing a crazy kind of diamond pattern. Once again, the speed of these animations can also be set if you wanted to move more slowly. A few more examples here of this spinning round globe. Fire 
work of explosions or pixels using the OLED panel, also looking pretty neat. And here's one with more of a diagonal stripe, reminiscent of some older TVs. A few more grids, which are also moving across. And this also might be helpful if you are in a slightly darker environment. It kind of helps you realize where the cable is located if you're trying to unplug it in the dark, for example. But just like the first generation cable, this is still, again, a black and white screen, which honestly I think already looks cool enough. Uh, but if they upgrade it into a color panel, it may unlock even more customization options for color images, for example. Or, of course, you can still show a black and white image with a color screen. So that might be something to consider in a next gen. And now for the final tab, we can also choose a scrolling text as a bulletin board. So we can say something like, let's say, hello world. Similarly, it will now just be scrolling across. We can increase the speed. And it looks like on the bulletin board mode, you can also send certain emojis, but not all of them are supported. Uh, for example, some of the more custom faces are not going to be always recognized, but regardless, it is quite fun and customizable enough. The text information can also be rotated or flipped in terms of the orientation if you want it to be portrait versus horizontal, as well as allowing you to control how many seconds you want that info to be shown on the display before transitioning into the power mode instead. So I can actually increase the duration up to 30 seconds. And by the way, if you have it being fixed instead of scrolling or moving, it's going to show almost all the text at once, or even use the camera to take an image and then send it over of course, it will be in black and white and pretty small. You also have to make sure that the images aren't too large in terms of their file size. Uh, but here's one such example in black and white, and now we have it transferred over to the ticker display. And aside from the ticker display, I can also note that the overall charging performance has been pretty good using this cable. I was indeed able to reach pretty much maximum charging rates possible using my chargers and this cable combined for phones, tablets, and computers alike. And the same really goes with data transfer as well well, didn't have too many issues using it as a sync cable. Again, the overall build quality feels quite tight and robust with some of the ridges making it a little easier to pull out when you're done using it. Reversible, of course, because of the Type-C nature, although since the OLED screen is on one side, uh, depending on if you want your phone to be facing down or facing up, you can also choose that accordingly. So really not bad, as just kind of a more playful, customized USB cable. More than anything, this incremental update now just bring along even faster charging speeds, as well as that magnetic cable functionality, which is quite convenient. Although the animation part here is mostly just for fun, the ability for it to display the charging percentage, as well as the charging wattage, is definitely useful. So if you're interested in some of these features tucked into a pretty creative all-in-one cable, you can check out more details in the links down below. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the Mobfree Pixel Cable Pro.